Hi right, folks again, Nat1971A here again. Um, we're continuing to look into uh, Tesla's wireless radiant energy transmission system. I've been trying to integrate uh, this with with what uh, Edwin Gray was working on. Been trying to integrate his spark gap system into uh, Tesla's wireless system. But along the way, I found some something very interesting. Which is probably a rediscovery, but it's probably important that everyone's aware of it. Okay, so you can see here from my bridge rectifier, I've got my this cable going here, which is labelled sphere, and it goes to this, and then that wire um, continues on up to the sphere on top of the roof. But what's interesting is this thing was left over from an experiment um, that I did on Lee Scallon's work. Which Aluminium foil on the inside, and then there's a <coughs> a cardboard uh, roll from a toilet roll with another layer of aluminium foil, and then it's topped off with some uh, tape. What's interesting is that this is um, gener it somehow generates surges in the system intermittently. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's it's not happening all the time though, which is quite weird. But it's uh, it is generating surges in the system. So it's being picked up on the uh, voltmeter. Similar spark up there. Um, so anyway, I've got something to show you about this. Okay, so I've tried to sketch up how it's configured. It's basically a a, a cylinder shape. Uh, and the layers, are, the inner layer is aluminium foil, and then cardboard, and then going towards the outer layer is aluminium foil again, and then insulating tape. So that configuration is generating surges in the system. And then I thought, well, if I look at Edwin Gray's system, it's the same sort of thing. It's um, you've got the inner layer is conductor, an outer layer, or then you've got a, a sort of a layer of insulating air and then you've got an outer layer of uh, I believe it's copper and then air another layer of copper air and then another insulator of I think he mentioned he used plexiglass okay so we've got the same sort of shapes and then okay I looked up Tesla's electrical conductor uh, this, this one here, plate number 514167, Nikola Tesla Electrical Conductor, uh, is basically saying, uh, in any system of electrical transmission or distribution in which currents of excessively high potential are employed, and more particularly when the frequency is higher, there is dissipation of energy from the conductor or conductors of the line due to electrification of the atmosphere or other surrounding medium or other causes. Uh, it has been usual in order to prevent loss by dissipation and interference by to insulate the same and enclose them in a continuous conducting sheeting or cover which has been connected with a ground by a good conducting path. So and then he shows this this picture um, where the inner, the inner, um, inner section is a conductor, the outer layer is an insulator, cut with a, a conducting screen which may be insulated. I'm going, well, this is starting to sound off what I'm seeing. So I'm thinking, well, the modern day equivalent of this is coaxial cable, possibly RG6 type cable. So I'm starting to think that I need to replace all my cables with coaxial cable. Um, 